Hi, welcome to The Restaurant Show. I'm Justin Riley, your host. I hope you stick with us today because we've got a great show with some great local food. We're gonna be joined by Norsky Nook. Why? Because life is too short not to start with pie. We're also gonna be joined by New Glarus Bakery. She's gonna demonstrate her holiday stolen, something that you can order online today before the holidays. And Chef Peter Lidstrom will join us from Tuscany Grill. It's all coming up right here, where we stop by the best restaurants in town so you can skip the rest and enjoy the best. We'll tell you where to go right here on The Restaurant Show. Welcome back to The Restaurant Show. If you have never been to the Tuscany Grill, over in the Wyndham Garden Hotel in Fitchburg then you are missing out because with me now is head chef Peter Lidstrom. Welcome. Thank you so very much. So we are making, I want to be able to say this today, we are making prosciutto wrapped pork tenderloin with a cognac pear cream sauce. Yes. A mouthful to say and a mouthful to eat, yes, I'm sure. So let's is. get started. What is the yes. first thing we do? First thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this pork tenderloin I have here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut three pieces, so okay. three medallions. Mm-hmm. Three medallions, okay. Three medallions. And uh, is there a certain thickness that you want to keep well, it at, typically? If you do them like, well, this one, I'll just say about half an inch. Inch to, half an inch mm -hmm. to an inch, maybe, yeah. something like that? And then okay. if you cut them, that's it. you can probably finish them in the pan, otherwise you have to finish them off in the oven. Okay, all right. And this is the prosciutto, This right? is the prosciutto. Okay. We cut it so, it will fit around. Oh, you're literally just wrapping it around? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. So, um, the prosciutto, I've always wondered, because I'm, you know, I, I'm not as much of a foodie as you might think I am, but uh, prosciutto, where does that come from, particularly? What part of the animal is that coming from? This ham. It's prosciutto ham. It's just bacon. ham. That's it's it. bacon. The, the bacon part. Oh, okay. All right. It's yeah, just prepared it's differently. It's yeah. not necessarily cured like, like no. bacon is. Yeah. Got it. It's dry okay. cured. Very good. Let's see, we'll wrap these up. Okay. The only problem I see now is I <coughs> forgot one thing. Uh oh. I forgot to take with. Um, now, what is this that you're adding here? This is a salt and pepper. Okay. And now we're going to sear these off in the pan where I have that hot over here. All right. And normally you said you forgot toothpicks. Normally you want to have toothpicks. Well, toothpicks to keep the prosciutto in, but this is going to be. Okay. Oh. Well. Different. Maybe it'll stay wrapped, maybe it won't. We'll Whoa. find out here today. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, talk to us a little bit about, uh, I mean, you're always updating your menu over there yes. at Tuscany. So talk to us about what's new uh, coming up this month at Tuscany. Uh, now this month, we have just started this menu just last week, and mm -hmm. it's like we have Bruce's wrap, uh, pork tenderloin, we have some Florentine steak, that's a rosemary balsamic cured steak that we okay. cut up. We have duck breast, all right. rack of lamb, we have all of different stuff that's back on the menu. All right, all right. And yeah. this is making a return from last year then? Yeah, and then okay. a couple of new things. Okay, very good, very good. And talk to us a little bit about this cognac pear cream sauce. How is the that? The cognac pear prepared? cream sauce. It's, I can do that. I mean, I'm going to flip these over quick okay. here. <clears throat> because you have some a whole bunch of different sauces that you can offer. Yes, with we have this 16, meal and with other 16 different sauces that we can offer. Okay. And uh, we can pair them with anything you want and we'll figure it out for you. Wow. That's kind of like a build your own uh, dinner type of thing. Yes, exactly. You know, so you can kind of choose choose your meat, choose your sauce, yep. and then choose your starch as well. Yep. Right? Now right. we're going to cut the pear here. That looks like it's a pretty mm. firm pear, too. Yes. It's not super duper ripe. No. <clears throat> it's going to be cooked off in cognac, so it's going to be pretty soft when it's Okay. Here. All right. So we got two burners going here today. Yes. And. Um, uh, Tuscany Grill, if you have not been there, is great for holiday parties. Wyndham Garden in general is great for holiday parties. Mm -hmm. uh, what sorts of things can you offer folks for uh, if they want to host a holiday party? We have room for uh, two to 250 people, the hotel and everything. So two we can to offer. 250. The menu can run from. We're going to have some cognac here. Okay. The beer. Let them simmer in here. Yeah. For a little while. <clears throat> Um, and we have two different menus. We have the catering menu. If you want to eat in Tuscan, we eat from the Tuscan menu. We have mm -hmm. two different menus you can do. Yeah. So. But you pretty much will make, you know, whatever somebody wants. Absolutely. I mean, if you, uh, as long as you, you're prepared and you have the ingredients yeah. and everything, you'll pretty much make whatever somebody wants yeah. to. That's very exactly. cool. Very cool. Versatile this guy is yeah. here, so. <laughs> so this is the cognac, cognac in the frying pan? Yep. Okay. Now we're going to add the cream. All right. 
And is this just uh, heavy whipping cream? Heavy whipping cream, yep. All right. Wow. Parsley, salt and pepper. <clears throat> and just turn this up. Seems just a little bit more involved than what you normally do here, but this is, I'm liking this. Yeah. Wow. Now, how long do you have to let that, do you have to let it uh, start bubbling? Is that kind of yep. what we're waiting for? I'm going to change this over here. Okay. All right. The hot pan. Sure. And typically, how long does it take to cook? I mean, do you need to take a temperature for well, a pork to know if it's done or not? You sh I mean, some people maybe should. Sure. Okay. <laughs> it should be 100, 145 inside and it's done. 145. Or, some system. people say 165, but 145 is good. Okay. So okay. I'm going to put this down here. Okay. So the simmering is good. All right, awesome. And you have uh, gift certificates available also at Tuscany. Yes, we're going to start uh, doing the deficit. Like if you buy a $100 deficit, you get the $25 free. If you buy a 50, you get a $15 free. So if you get the free gift set with a big, big gift set, get a free one, a little free one. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. So there's an incentive to buy some gift certificates. Yes, exactly. There. Great holiday gifts for those folks out there who are looking for that gift that keeps on giving, which yes. food. I mean, come on, what other gift uh, keeps on giving better than that? Yeah. Um, I also want to mention, just make a real quick mention about the uh, Thirsty Goat. You do some work over there. I the Thirsty Goat is the same owner, mm -hmm. and it's right. like a smokehouse where they do the brisket, smoke right. brisket, smoke, uh, uh, sm I smoke everything. They smoke the wings, the smoke, smoke. smoke. Yeah, everything smoked. Okay. And uh, they just opened like three months ago, and yep. that's also a place where you can do parties and stuff, so. Yeah, so slightly different menu options there. Slightly still different. a great place to yeah. eat. So they've op been open for three months now. So yep. Check it out if you haven't already. Now, what is this that you added? There is a little, what I love, demi. That's the demi Demi glaze. Demi -glaze. Add a little demi to it. Okay. And now I'm going to have some asparagus going here on the side. And also, I have, down here in the magic oven, I have, we have sides. We do sides now for okay. delicious. Instead of before, we do mashed potato or roasted baby sure. reds. Now we can always have risotto or rotten potato, beans. Rice, everything. Okay. So I'm going to plate this now for you. All right, excellent. So we're going to see here. I'm ready with a fork in hand. Here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is the Magic this TV. This is oven. the Magic TV. If you're wondering where he is, he's in the Magic TV. Yes, oven. Magic TV. <laughs> oven. Here is the gratin potatoes. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's not the old gratin potatoes that I'm typically no, uh, familiar here is with. Pork tenderloins. Okay. Let me see here. So those actually have the toothpicks in them. I have the toothpicks. These ones have. So don't <laughs> don't eat the toothpicks in the no. words here. <clears throat> oh. That's okay. You can leave it in. I'm, I'll, I'll be careful. I'll be careful. <laughs> and so, asparagus here. Oh, that adds a nice color to it, I suppose. Yes. And then, then oh, we gotta have this. We'll finish it off with the sauce on top here. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, I'm gonna be enjoying this while you are watching a commercial. So sorry for you out there, audience, but hey, Peter Lidstrom, thank you so much for coming thank in you. today. Appreciate it, we always enjoy you. Head on down to the Tuscany Grill, great food, or Thirsty Goat for that matter. We'll be right back with more Restaurant Show right after the break. Thank you. Coming up next on the Restaurant Show, Holiday Stolen with New Glarus Bakery. Welcome back to the restaurant show. Believe it or not, it's already time to start planning for the holidays. And here to talk a little bit more about that is Angela Neff from New Glarus Bakery. Angela, how are you? Good, how are you? I am great. I am great. And today, as I understand, we are rolling and stolen. We are rolling and stolen. So talk to us a little bit about your holiday stolen because that's coming up real soon. Mm -hmm. You're going to have that ready pretty soon. And uh, talk a little bit about how it's made and what it is. Okay. It's a traditional German loaf. Mm -hmm. Uh, technically served at Christmas. Okay. Um, it's made by hand throughout the centuries. Okay. Um, there's been uh, varieties uh, starting all the way back where they used oats okay. to begin with mm -hmm. and through the years it has uh, kind of morphed into its own kind of loaf. Some people make it with candied fruit mm -hmm. and uh, instead of like the powdered sugar on top mm -hmm. they use uh, like a glaze. Okay. Or what we use is we use our concoction of rum soaked raisins. Concoction. Concoction, yes. And uh, we have all of our almonds come directly from the growers in California. Okay. Wow, all right. And uh, all of our spices are from uh, Dresden, uh, Germany. Wow. wow so, no yeah. 
This is this is it's about as authentic as you can get it here is, in the state. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And then we also use the marzipan logs, and marzipan is in the dough as well as the log, and not everybody uses marzipan in theirs either. So okay. it's it's different, and the spices vary too between recipe. There's so. no real uh, one way to make it. There's no. different ways that they. I'm sure that around Germany you can find in different parts depending on where you go. It's made differently. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So yep. you, it looks like you've got a couple of different stages here. What's mm -hmm. the first stage? The first stage, um, the only automation that we have in this entire process is our dough divider cutter. Mm -hmm. So we have our uh, one pound eight ounce loaf okay. that we have here. Okay. And what we do is we initially roll it up. Uh huh. And we need to make a nice firm dough ball okay. that we're gonna have here. Okay. Okay. And so when it's ready to go, we're just gonna let it get a bit of a what we call a skin on top, a nice oh, smooth okay. skin. I can kind of see that happening already. Yep. So we're gonna let it sit and we get it to a nice firm stage here. Okay. Okay, I tap it on the top so it's not so spongy. Right. We want it pretty tough. And then when we're done with it, we're gonna roll it into a bit of a log. Okay. Okay. Right. So then what we do is we put it off to the side, let it rest for a little bit, and mm -hmm. I have a piece here that's already rested. Already rested. Already time rested. Time to wake up yep, now. Time to wake up. <laughs> so what we do is we pat it down. Okay. And we take our stolen stick. So this is a, this is specially for stolen. Yes, yes. stolen stick. Yes, All because right. the width of it is special to how we make the little insert in for the log of marzipan. Oh. So okay. what we come do, what we do is we put it in a little valley in there. Okay. And we take our log of marzipan. And that's that's the marzipan. Yep, this okay. is the marzipan. These are all hand rolled too. Uh, okay. We make it in a pretty large batch, and mm -hmm. then all the storefront staff members uh, pitch in and they roll these. They're all two ounces, and every wow. single one is weighed. Wow. Yep. So what we do is we fold her over. So we're gonna kind of say goodnight to the marzipan log. Good night, marzipan log. Good night. <laughs> so and then what we do is we do a seal. Mm -hmm. and We go right into it. Oh, wow, all right. Yep. And Almost then when we're like done. Almost like a taco at that first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here you are. You have the uh, the log that is tucked in here. It's okay. sealed well enough. And we're going to put this right on the pan and bake it. Or we proof it first in our sure. proof box. Uh, we do 62 loaves in a batch. A double batch day is 124 loaves. And we schedule out how many baking days uh -huh. there are. Because we have to plan all this around how long we let our rum-soaked raisins soak. Okay, so you're actually soaking the raisins in the rum concoction yourself. Mm -hmm. And yep. you have a couple of examples of that. May I try one? Sure. All right. Yes. We try to get at least a couple oh, weeks yeah. in its bath. Um, we mm -hmm. use uh, rum from the Minhas Distillery in Monroe, Wisconsin. Wow. Yeah. Dark Meyers rum, and then we use Green Mountain flavors mm -hmm. out of Elgin, Illinois and all concocted together and they sit in their buckets and we stir them up every now and then and or add fresh to it. And okay. Yeah, there and we go. And does this go in the oven just like that then after it's mm -hmm. proofed? Yep, after it's proofed it raises about one and a half times its size and we put it in the oven until it's nice and golden brown. And then what we do is there's unsalted butter and we dip it and we let it drain a little bit and then we put it in a bowl with uh, a powdered sugar cornstarch mixture. Okay. And we cover it up. And then once we're done with that, then we have a different uh, variety of packaging throughout the year. It depends on sure. how we want to package it for the storefront versus mail order. Sure. Okay. All right. And this is the finished product that right That is here. the finished product. Correct. Yeah. Um, and you also have, I want to show an example of um, mm -hmm. the, uh, what you have here for um, packaging. So Correct. People know this is, so this is the holiday stolen. Is this what people, if you send it in the mail, is this Correct. what people are going to get? Yep, they okay. get it in a nice box. Um, the stolen is packaged in a plastic bag that is heat sealed um, okay. to seal in the freshness. Mm -hmm. When you get your stolen as a gift or if you just want it for yourself to eat, <laughs> Um, make sure when you do get it, put it in the freezer right away, okay. and then as you want it or need it, pull it out, cut off a few pieces, put it in an airtight container, and keep it fresh that way. Okay, so it's, it is freezeable and it maintains its freshness Correct, that way. yes. Okay. You want to keep it as moist as you possibly can. And may I try it? You here? may. All right. So you can actually see right here mm -hmm. where the marzipan is. That must be the marzipan that we yes. cooked into it. That okay. is like the prize in the stone. So do I want to eat that first or last? I mm. know. Decisions, I know. decisions. I think just for time's sake, I'm going to eat that side first. So take a bite of the stone. Mm. So we mm. don't sell this right away when we make it. Mm. We let it freeze mm -hmm. and ferment. Oh, sort of okay. per se, wow. you know, 
mingle those spices and flavors and marzipan inside there yeah. before we put it on the shelf for sale. It is available on November 1st of every year, okay. but we try to start making some about the beginning of October as soon as the weather starts to calm down because we don't want to make this when it's super hot out. Right, so you have to try to, <clears throat> you want to try to get it to ferment in the freezer then, is that right? Correct, yes. Okay, wow, yep. that's cool. Uh, real quick, we just have a few seconds left, but uh, talk to us a little bit about your hours after the holidays and any specials that you might have coming up after the holidays. We close at the end of the year for first two and a half weeks of January, so okay. we'll reopen the following Wednesday, like the second week of January mm -hmm. every year, and then we'll be open six days a week, close on Mondays, mm -hmm. all the way through up to Memorial Day this year. Okay. And then uh, as far as our specials go, in January it's our custard-filled long johns, so mm -hmm. you can stay warm with our custard-filled long johns. Stay warm with long johns. That's great. I love it. Angela Neff, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Head on down to New Glarus or go to their website and order your stolen today. We'll be right back with more uh, Restaurant Show right after the break. Coming up next on the Restaurant Show, pie, pie, and more pie with Norski Nook. Welcome back to the Restaurant Show. Well, fall is officially underway and here to get us more in the spirit of, I should say, fall and holiday eating is Cindy Parker from Norski Nook. Cindy, how are you? Hello. Very good. Thank you. Good to have you back. Good Absolutely. to have you back. So, I don't need to say this, but you always bring such amazing food. I think we can see that plainly here. Um, Tell us, we're going to do pie first. Always. We, that's we do how we pie do it. first at the North Kina. Life is too short, so we're going to do pie first. Talk to us about what, what's underneath this, this uh, whipped cream that we see here. Well, this is our pumpkin cream cheese pie. Okay. It has a graham cracker crust and mm. then a baked cream cheese filling. Mm. And then the pumpkin. Um, and then we top it with uh, whipped cream and cinnamon and sugar. Okay. Okay, so once you have this pumpkin cream cheese, uh -huh. you will never want plain pumpkin pie again, I promise. I was going to say, this kind of puts regular pumpkin <laughs> to shame. It's, I like <laughs> to call it pumpkin dream because it's a dream pie. Yes. It's one yes. of our award winners. <laughs> And you have, uh, you guys have a lot of... A few, 45. <laughs> 45 award-winning pies. We're very where proud go, of our pies. Where do you go to, um, what kind of contests do you have to enter? Where well, do you go to we enter go contests? to Orlando, uh -huh. uh, Disney World, to the National Pie Championship. That's a thing. It is. I wow. said the same thing about 11 years ago when we yeah. started coming. Like, it's a thing. Yeah, yeah. And it's, you know, we compete about against about 500 different kinds of pies. So it's no small thing either. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Here we go, folks. <laughs> <laughs> and, and our pies, you know, they're not small either. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You'll never want regular pumpkin again. <laughs> I don't want regular pumpkin ever again. Oh my gosh. It was amazing. Okay, well, that's all the time we have for today. I'm going <laughs> to just eat the rest of this pie for the next four and a half minutes. So, No, um, you also, as if pie is not enough, you have not just cookies, but loaded cookies. Well, everything we do at the Norsky Nook is, you know, big. Great. So I can see that. <laughs> we do nothing small. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so we're not just known for pies. We're known for a lot of other bakery items. Mm -hmm. We have cookies, bread, scones, mm -hmm. cinnamon rolls. I mean, any given day you come in and you're going to get a variety of uh, fresh baked bakery items. And these are some of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Our loaded cookies. Mm -hmm. This one with the chocolate. We take our chocolate chip cookie and we made it a turtle. So there's. Uh, chocolate chips and pecans and caramel, and then this one is fun. It's got Snickers candy loaded yeah, on say, top. It's got candy bars in there. And then <clears> this <throat> one here is a peanut butter one. Uh huh. And so we added Butterfinger Ooh, candies yeah. to the top of that one. Mm -hmm. um, this one is also a peanut butter cookie, and it's got butterscotch wow. chips melted on it. So wow. some great uh, varieties of cookies as well as pies at the Norski Nook. Okay. okay, all right. <laughs> you you have me very interested. So uh, these are specific recipes. It's not just something that people say, oh, this looks good. We'll put a little bit of this, a little bit of that. These are specific recipes that you have so that um, people can get them. You know. They started out like, well, let's try this, a little okay. bit of this, a little they bit evolved. of that. They evolved, okay. yep. Yeah. 
yeah. Okay. Our staff always, our bakers are always coming up with something new and yeah. different. So and that works. That's what's really cool about your place is that this isn't like a, a top-down type of kitchen where it's like this is what you must do. I mean, you take input and collaboration from all the people that work there. We, we absolutely do. We do have our time-honored recipes that we sure. will not change right. and that, you know, have been around for 40 plus years. Of course. And you're going to get it at every Norski Nook. But we do give our um, staff definitely the chance to be involved in what's good and what will make the menu. Yeah. And now you, uh, we, we move from dessert pie to main main course pie. You've got yeah. some pot pie here. Tell us a little bit about yeah. that. Yes. So <coughs> on every Wednesday at Norse Keenook is pie day. Okay. Okay. So any Wednesday you come into any Norse Keenook and you get a slice of pie and coffee for a discounted price. Okay. We feature one of our pies every Wednesday. All right. Um, and then the girls get to wear these fun shirts and we all have a good day. It's Wednesday's pie day. All right. So we decided we needed another pie for our lunch on Wednesdays and we decided to bring into a chicken pot pie. But this is our pie crust. Okay. And our own chicken filling. Sure. Chicken and vegetables served with homemade mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm a turkey gravy, and then lingonberries. Uh, lingonberries are imported. Yeah. Um, they are imported from Sweden, so they're very Scandinavian. Sure. They fit the Norski Nook Absolutely. theme. We also serve them on a few other dishes like our Norwegian pancakes. Okay. Um, very tart, berry, which kind of goes with the, the salty and the comfort food of the chicken pot pie. Sure, it's almost like the, the cranberries that you get at, um, at, at Thanksgiving then. Exactly. Kind of add a little bit of that yep. to the, the yep. turkey. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then do I just, oops, do I just dig right into this then? You or? can do that or you can pick it up and dump Ooh. it on your plate and... I hope I don't make a mess. So I just turn it upside down yeah. and just Yeah. Kind of, well, that was easy. Look at that. And then you should be able to get right yeah. in on those. And do people usually, you know, take like a, a fork full of this and then a fork full they of the do. lingonberries? Okay. They do. I'm gonna try that. You don't that. have to, but they do. I'm gonna try that for sure. And the, the lingonberries are definitely um, a little tart. Mmm. Mmm. It is good comfort food. Mmm. Oh, those really complement each other very nicely. Mm, good. Very nicely. Add some mashed potatoes and gravy in there. And you're gonna find some little few lumps once in a while or mashed potatoes because we mash them ourselves. Yeah, and that's how you know it's homemade. <laughs> yeah. Lumpy mashed potatoes are great, so I love them. <laughs> well, Cindy, you always bring such amazing food. If you want to feel comforted during this fall season, head on down to Norsky Nook in DeForest. And where are your other three locations? Well, we have our original location in Osseo, mm -hmm. downtown, mm -hmm. Rice Lake, and Hayward, Wisconsin. Absolutely. It's always a pleasure, Me Cindy. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Don't go away. There's more restaurant show coming up right after the break. Stick around. Thanks so much for joining me here today on The Restaurant Show. I hope that when you're out and about looking for a place to eat or at the local grocery store, you'll consider any one of these fantastic locally owned businesses. That's all the time we have for today on The Restaurant Show. This is Justin Riley reminding you that life is too short to eat average. We'll see you next time.